think that the biggest mistakes us dais have made towards you, we've done you a disservice, Adam. When you made that video about the apology, about, about you know, posting on the girl, bro, I felt like it was sincere. I felt like that was sincere. I feel, and look what you were saying. You shouldn't expose your sins. Bro, that requires high levels of Iman. But all these things that are coming out about you of your personality character, my bro, that's not who you are. That's what you're doing. But that's not who you are. You're a good man. So you know what, Adam? If you want to invoice anyone, invoice me too. And after I'm done paying your invoice off, can I take you out for a coffee? Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful. Oh, oh. 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 You decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Adam Saleh claps back at Ali Dawa. This is a real title. This is this is this really happened. Can you believe that? It feels childish, doesn't it? But it's even more childish. Just cute. Why are you making a video about it, huh? Clout chasing? Yeah, I am. I am halal clout chasing. I am. I understand. The value of putting Adam Saleh's name in my title. You don't think I'm self-aware? You think, oh, it's going to close your name. Adam Saleh said to Adi Dawa that I'm going to invoice you. I'm going to invoice you. Or I'm going to email you. I'm going to invoice you for the revenue that you've made off of me or whatever. It was something like that. I don't know. I read it like two days ago or a day ago. I don't know. Because he understands the value of his name. A lot of Dais have established their platforms by correcting Adam Saleh. I'm not, nothing against Ali Dabo or anything like that. Here's how it all happened. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man, these days, if you're coughing in public, people think you have corona. SubhanAllah. I got my Fiji water over here. MashaAllah. It's all the same. I don't know. Is it? Do you taste the difference? I don't. <clears throat> it's my last day in the hotel, as you can tell. I've somewhat packed up and cleaned up. Everything is put away. I got my little uh, thing. I mean, you probably can't see it, but what I'm gonna wear? I'm gonna go to the pool at least once. I have to. I'm in, you know, one of the best pools in the in the in the country, in the world, probably. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Adam saw. So this happens when I made the video about how Ali Dawa made the tweet uh, against me, right? Like, and I'm, I'm going to link that video like right here, okay? Watch that video too, it's good. You learn a lot of messages about arrogance versus confidence, so on and so forth. Um, after that, he tagged me in the tweet, and then Adam Saleh responded to that tweet and said something in regards to what he had written towards me, which wasn't bad, it was funny, it was all jokes, you know what I mean? I don't even check my Twitter. I tweet and I walk away, and I just use it for my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, do I really... Am I really going to pop up that graphic image right here? Follow me on Instagram. You're missing out. It's more of a daily sort of like reminders and motivation. But alhamdulillah, it is what it is. All right. So anyways, and Adam Saleh was just like, you know, I'm a, I'm a DM you uh, my invoice or whatever the case might be. And you know what? I, I, I don't blame you. Adam Saleh is aware of what kind of uh, you know, revenue and how people have built their platforms based off of criticizing him or critiquing him. And I want to let Adam Saleh know right now that I believe that I've benefited from your name as well. Some of my best videos that performed on this platform are the ones that I've mentioned your name on them. But watch any of my videos. Am I ever dogging you? Am I ever saying anything incorrectly, uh, correctly to you? Your tweet wasn't in my direction. Your tweet was not in my direction. And I respect and I appreciate that, right? But, you know, you're calling him fake Dawa guy, whatever. That's between you and him. You know, it's not nice. It's not nice that I don't support, you know, you know, cyberbullying. I don't support uh, people calling each other derogatory terms. Uh, after that, you know, Ali Dawa came back at you. I don't support any of those things. I don't support any of those type of things, you know. I think that you're a good dude. Uh, I, and I'm I, extremely happy. Do you have people like Slim in your life? You know what I mean? Uh, as soon as you did that kissing video or whatever and you made the post, Slim, you know, checked you. And that's what a good friend does, doesn't he? He checks you. And he checked you on social media. I'm pretty sure he called you and checked you as well. Right? But he called you on social media. Is he a fake sheikh? Or is he someone who loves you? Right? I think that the biggest mistakes us dais have made towards you, we've done you a disservice, Adam. We've done you a disservice. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat's all dry today. Guys, I've been vlogging. Wait until you see the vlogs from this place. Oh my God. If you're wondering, ask you, what the hell are you even doing in Vegas? 
So there's a new Islamic network about to start here, just like there's the Iman channel. There's about to be an Islamic network starting here in uh, uh, North America, in the United States. And uh, one of the shows that they're going to have, they want me as the host over there. So uh, this company, this organization ran by Muslims, very, very influential, uh, flew me out to Las Vegas. And they had me do a screen test, take some headshots and photos. So if you see my Instagram photo game step up, you're going to know why, right? They took some dope banger photos of me. Uh, so it, it's nice. So I'm in contract right now, inshallah, uh, once everything, you know, goes off for 10 episodes and such. And it's such a blessing. And honestly, I owe Adam. I do, right? Because if it wasn't for videos with like the, in Adam's name, people wouldn't recognize the talent and the skill that I have. So you know what, Adam, if you want to invoice anyone, invoice me too. And after I'm done paying your invoice off, can I take you out for a coffee? Can I buy you a latte, my, my bro? Like, come on. We've done you a disservice. We have. Because the number one thing that we as Dais have failed to establish with you, my brother, my brother, not my friend, not some... Oh, you know, youth leading people astray. No, oh, making music. No, 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 no. My brother, we've done you a disservice because we never established an immense love and care for you. We haven't. We just look like these dudes who just sit and have nothing better to do with our lives. We record a camera, get some cloud off your name, and give you a correction, and then we walk away. Where's the follow through? Where's the follow through in our, in our help towards you? Where is that? Adam, let me ask you a question or anyone else out there right now, okay? If you were walking around the street and you had some like crap stuck in your tooth, maybe some spinach here, you know, you got a little spinach over here. If I stopped you on the street and say, my bro, you got something stuck in your teeth. Would you tell me stop judging me? Would you say that to me? Oh, brother, excuse me. Who do you think you are? Have you seen your teeth? Would you know? You'd be like, oh, no. Yo, thank you. Good looking. Good looks. Wouldn't you say that? If you stop me on the street and say, bro, you have a little lint in your beard. That happens all the time. Anyone who knows, sometimes food is stuck in my beard, bro. It's a real thing. All the beard gang knows. Everyone with the Sunnah beard gang, you know the truth. Drop it in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about. How much time is that? Straight. Listen. Listen. Listen straight no cuts no cuts these have been the best videos ever just literally talking to the camera talking to you guys and you guys have been loving it I'm, and i'm happy i'm loving what i'm doing now i'm enjoying it way way more subhanallah it's like it just feels good alhamdulillah may allah put barakah in this and bless you all guys tomorrow is arafah depending on when you see this tomorrow is arafah and you know we're going to be fasting on that day and everything like that you might be like ask you why don't you fasting now i'm a traveler i'm a traveler i'm in two Different time zones right now. Two different time zones. Wallahi, my watch is still uh, attached to New York. And it's like 7 in the morning over here. I don't even know what time it is anymore, guys. And, and being in Las Vegas makes you just lose track of time. If you've been to Las Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. You don't know. The only time you know is like when the sun goes down. And it's so hot outside that you stay in casinos all day long. I don't, but oh, it is, it's crazy. People lose their minds. And, then, and, and this whole place really wakes up at night. Right now, people are sleeping. I'm spinning. Right now people are sleeping. But anyways, let's get back to the point. A lot of people have made Dawa videos about you, against you, and something like that. Like, and, and this is going back. If I had the, the lit and stuck in my beard, right? I would thank you. Yo, Jazakallah thank you, my bro. I wouldn't say you're judging me. I wouldn't say that, right? Because it shows an actual direct... Okay. Have, oh, brother Ali, brother SQ, you should be contacting Adam privately. SQ, contact him privately. Who am I? Who the hell am I? You think Adams can see a DM from me? A tweet from me? I'm a nobody. There's no blue verification tick on my name. Yeah, I have a few 100,000 like followers on Instagram or whatever. It might pop up on the screen or may not. But these videos are not necessarily just for Adam. They're also for other people to benefit from. There's messages for everyone. So I don't know what's happening between Ali and Adam and I don't know that stuff. And let me, if possible, I would love, 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 love. Believe me, I would love, hear me out on this, I would love to do inter uh, an intervention to fix that relationship because I would hate to see people be upset at each other. Why? We're all in the same thing. 
And okay, you want to say that to Ali, but point out to something to me that I've done. Don't act like you haven't watched my videos. Don't act like that. What stopped you? I'm in New York just like you. You love Mufti Mek and all that sort of stuff, bro. I'm an older brother to you. Why haven't we hung out? Why haven't you reached out? I'm reaching out. This is me reaching out. Now you got to decide and everyone else got to decide out there that what's annoying you. Is it the advice coming from them and how they're giving it? Or is it the fact that someone's even advising you and telling you what to do? Which one is it? Which one is it, bro? Is it how they're telling it to you? That's understandable. And I think that's the version, but not giving you advice. Because when you made that video about the apology, what time is it? 10 minutes? Okay, inshallah. When you made that video about the apology, about, about you know, posting on the girl, bro, I felt like it was sincere. I felt like that was sincere. I feel, and look what you were saying. You shouldn't expose your sins. Bro, that requires high levels of iman. That requires self-awareness. That's a very awesome and amazing thing to say. I respect that. But here's my theory. I believe that it's a cry for help. I do believe that internally there's something wrong. I do believe that all this is getting to you. My bro, the stress, people calling you names and all that sort of stuff. If I'm not mistaken, you see our vertebrae between our, uh, our vertebrae, right, and our spine? In between them, they have those discs, right? Those discs are what keeps everything nice and limber and all that sort of stuff. And if anyone has a slip disc, you know the pain of a slip disc, right? Tell me in the comments section if you ever had a slip disc or a bulging disc, okay? I might be wrong over here right now because I'm just jet lagged and everything like that, but there's this thing called an annula, okay? That disc, right? Has an outer shell and an inner shell. There's a reason I'm telling you this. Bear with me, okay? There's an outer shell and an inner shell. I have a hijama clinic. I know all about these things, alhamdulillah, to the best ability, okay? The disc has an outer shell and an inner shell, okay? And an inner gooey, more softer thing, okay? The outer shell is called the annula the annula, okay? The inner part of it that keeps it all nice and wiggly, right, is called the nucleus, okay? Just like a nucleus of a cell or something like that. SubhanAllah. Look at the science! Science! All right. Here's what happens. Here's how a bulging disc happens. You harm yourself in an accident, working out or whatever, there's a crack in the annula. Now that nucleus starts to, you know, the disc doesn't maintain its shape anymore. It could get stretched in a different direction because the shell is cracked. And the moment it starts coming back and bulging, it starts hitting your nerves. The nerves are behind the spinal cord. They're not in front. This is not, there's no nerves here. It's behind it. And then that disc slowly starts pushing on that, uh, on the nerve. That's when you start feeling the pain and if it's on the sciatic nerve it's on the lower lumbar then you get a feel it in your legs okay here's what i'm trying to say to you my friend my, my brother my brother your annula is cracked there's something wrong you're cracking and it's leaking from the shells and the leak is coming in out in forms of kissing admitting that you've smoked weed that you're smoking weed or you're high my bro if you're high keep that between you and allah you feel me it's not you being honest it's not you being like putting it out there you're revealing a sin, and I think you understand that. I think you, I, I think you vibe with what I'm saying. But all these things that are coming out about you of your personality character, my bro, that's not who you are. That's what you're doing. But that's not who you are. You're a good man. Me and you go back. You don't know who I am, do you? Let me reveal to you who I am. You see, you have a cousin, sister, or a niece. She's married to my good friend named Osama. Osama, right? This is a funny name, man. He must have been teased post 9 11. SubhanAllah, may Allah protect him. Does that ring a bell? Okay, good. So back in 2016, I can't remember. Forgive me for the time. 2017, maybe. I don't know. Osama, I hit him up saying that, listen, I'm a school teacher by profession. Maybe it's ringing a bell. And he asked, I asked a favor for him because I was helping his wife, your niece, get into a teaching program. Okay, I called a favor. I said, listen, my students are big fans of Adam Saleh. Big fans. Is there any way he could make a guest appearance? We could hold like a whole auditorium thing for him and all that at a school. Do you remember this? They reached out to you. And you know what you said? Yes. You said yes. That shows your person. Look at you. You did ask for security nonetheless, which is kind of funny because you're in a middle school, bro. I cut it out. But... You said yes. Do you remember that? So I bet you you're smiling. Wallahi, I bet you're smiling. If Adam is genuine, I don't know if Adam's going to watch this. You said yes. You remember that? 
but then I canceled. You know why? You know why? Not because, oh my God, Adam's going to make a thing. You know how proud I'd be for someone from New York City living in a tough situation, change a situation around through YouTube, making online content? You know how inspiring that would be for my children to see? You know the reason I stopped? Because I had to go to Umrah. That was the first time I went to Umrah. First time. And if it wasn't for that, this wouldn't, this wouldn't have emerged. We were supposed to meet a long time ago, and we met another time, but we didn't introduce each other. And that was my fault. This is before social media for me. That was my fault. I should have just came up to you and said, Assalamu alaikum. You know what I mean? But I was arrogant myself. I saw you at your own niece's wedding. People were sweating you all that. Of course, obviously, you know. But, you know, I, I'm family friends with the Terebs. I don't know if you know them. You're all Yemeni, mashallah. May Allah bless you guys, right? This is the point I'm trying to say, bro. I think that you're a great person. And all these things that are coming out right now are cries for help. For the right person to come help you. It doesn't have to be in public. It is, you don't have to make a YouTube video about this. Call me. DM me, bro. I'm not going to expose. Yo, next video, Adam Saleh hit me up. I might actually. That's going to be pretty funny. But I would never tell. It's a it's, it's, uh, 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 patient thing, confidentiality. I'm a therapist, bro. This is what I do. You could talk to me about anything. What's going on in your life? You think I would judge you? You think me? I would judge you? A person who gets judged every single moment of his life? I would judge you? Reach out. This is me reaching out. Reach out. Reach back. We're in New York, bro. I'm in New York. Oh, I'm in Vegas right now, but I'm traveling to New York today. That's why I packed up my things. Come on. Come on. Let's link. Let's get something to eat. Let's drink something. Let's drink some coffee, something, bro. Come on. But I believe that these are all signs for help. The, your, your character, your annual, it's cracked. And everything is now shifting all over the place. Let's fix it. We can fix it. But that's if you want to get it fixed. Or you feel like it's not broken, then SQ, you're just being no different from the other dice. SQ, you're judging the brother. And there's going to be a whole bunch of Adam, fa uh, Adam family. <laughs> Adam Sally stands down here. Don't judge him. Don't. You know why they're saying don't judge him? Because they don't love you. You think they love you? You think they do? On the day of judgment, they're not going to be there for you, bro. But you know what? I would hope to be there for you. I would. I would hope to say that we're united in Jannah because we were good friends together. On the day of judgment, you're going to be a wannabe with true friends, not the fake friends. You're going to tell them to run away from me. Go away from me. Because the more they're around you, the more testimonies and witnessing it is against you. But the real, the real friends that you're going to have that remind you of Allah, to fear Allah. Do you think I'm trying to change you? Do you think I'm trying to correct you? No. This is going to add another level to your character. Good friends. Good quality friends. You're up at 2 a.m. You're stuck. You're dealing with some issue. You call me. I'll pick up. But I just hate to see that if you think that this is how everyone is. What happens between you and Ali Dawa and all them dudes back in the day? That's between ya. Yeah, I don't know. But don't paint everyone with the same brush, my G. Don't do that. Because I'm not like them. May Allah bless them. They're my, they're my uh, friends, my peers, my colleagues, right? We're all brothers and for the sake of Allah, we, we all do the same thing. But we're not the same people. We all have our different approaches. So... That was my spiel. Guys, I hope you guys benefited from this. This wasn't necessarily just a video to directly to Adam. It was to everyone. I hope you all benefited from this. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I want to make an apology. I want to make an apology. I've been saying, you know, straight to the face, no chase. It just rhymes and it sounds really, really good. But I apologize. I shouldn't be using the word chase, right? Because that refers to alcohol. It means like if you're taking alcohol straight to the face. I do, but straight to the face is fine. Right? Because it's uncut straight to the face, no problem, right? But when I say no chase, that's referring to alcohol. So I'm apologizing about that. I think I said that like twice so far. So alhamdulillah, you live and you learn. But it's not beneath me to apologize, bro. In fact, I think it raises my status in your eyes even more. I don't even know how, but somehow it does. Listen, guys, merch is coming soon. I just uh, got this one done. I think that you guys would like this. Uh, let me do that. Right here, smile, sasana. I'm like, listen, why don't I just put like hadiths on these things? Everyone has them. Why don't I put like Islamic messages and give da'wah to them? So listen, merch is coming soon. It's not just this. It's going to be like shirts and all that sort of stuff. And the purpose of merch, guys, is so that it could sponsor all my videos for like giving out air pa uh, air pads, uh, 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 iPads, AirPods, phones, 
MacBooks. I'm trying to give all these things out, bro. And wallahi, with just the Sindeed, like stuff that I have, it's not enough. Like they're paying me. I wear the stuff because I genuinely appreciate it. Places like Nominal, they've paid me to wear their stuff. But they're not paying me anymore to wear it. And I still wear it because I genuinely like it. So if I'm ever promoting a product to you guys, please do check out their websites, you know, because they're paying me in hopes that it draws some traffic to them, not just revenue, but traffic and brand awareness. Go check them out. Don't buy it. Don't, don't be forced to buy anything. I'm not forcing you, but check out their stuff. Give them some things and say, hey, SQ sent me something, bro. Because that's what allows, I take that money. I don't spend it on myself, guys. I don't. Wallahi. I take that money, whatever I get paid from Sindeed or from Nominal for a one-time shout out, or with Sindeed, I have a six-month contract, so I'm with them. See, I'm, I'm opening up with you guys. Uh, whatever money, how much time do you have? 20 minutes? Okay, I'm, I'm going to end it right now. Um, whatever, whatever it has, I take that money and I put it back into the video. And my videos don't do that well or anything like that. I just want to put smiles on your faces. So the merch would really help out, guys, because it allows me a sustainable income to do cool stuff on YouTube with because a sponsorship is hit or miss. For me, I'm at the stage right now, it's hit or miss. So if I have a consistent revenue coming out from selling t-shirts, this and that, I can at least know that, hey, every month I'm making a few hundred dollars in sales. I can use that towards the thing. I'm not trying to get like Lamborghinis, like I'm not, I just want to be able to do more street dawa and, and fun stuff and give out waters and all that sort of stuff. And you might be like, water is cheap. It's not when you have to have someone hold the camera and do all these extra stuff. So try to understand guys. And the merch is going to be popping. It's not going to be some BS, you know, uh, so, you know, just like something small, you know, not, not something cor corny, like follow the sunnah. Like it's not, no disrespect, but like, it's not going to be corny. It's going to be actually very stylish. Inshallah. We're at 21 minutes right now. I really hope that you benefited from this video and you are enjoying God. <laughs> These no cut videos because I'm enjoying making them and whether you're enjoying watching them or not, the fact that I enjoy making them makes these videos so much better. If you have made it to the end of this video and by some miracle you haven't subscribed, I'm going to recommend that you don't subscribe. Continue to watch this because YouTube is still going to recommend me to you, right? And you're just going to be a ghost follower, but that's okay. Uh, if you haven't left a comment, leave a comment. If you want to, don't. It's cool, but may Allah bless you on uh, these beautiful days of uh, Zul Hijjah with you all for the sake of Allah. If you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, click any of these videos right here. Um, until next time, I'm out.